What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So it seems like Cardi B is fed up of people talking about her body. Cardi has been open about her love for plastic surgery and in all the work she has had done, but it seems like all that surgery has come back to haunt her because fans have been saying the most since she performed in Vegas a few days ago. At first she was like boo-hoo, like she didn't care what people were saying. But now her true feelings are starting to come out and she is sad that people are saying all these mean things about her. If you've been following Cardi B over the years, you know that her body has kind of changed. I mean, plastic surgery is no big secret in Hollywood because most of your faves have gotten a lot of work done, even though they deny it. They claim that their new look is due to a changed makeup routine, weight loss, going vegan, or any number of things, even when it's clear they have had a procedure or two. Cardi B, on the other hand, isn't like that. She's been pretty open about the work she's done over the years, and she's never denied that. Like I said, Cardi still looks great, but lately people have started wondering if she might be going a bit too far with the surgeries. Her body is beginning to show signs of having been under the knife. But before we dive into her latest surgeries and how she's talking about their impact, let's go over the work she's had done so you can really get what I'm saying. So Cardi doesn't talk about this much anymore, but the main reason she started getting surgery was because she grew up in an environment where therapy, I'm talking about big butts, big chest, curvy figures, everything that Cardi wasn't at the time. She mentioned that she was super skinny and felt like the only girl she knew who wasn't curvy and thick, which really affected her self-esteem. She got teased and bullied, making her feel ugly and less confident in herself. From nationalities that like, they praise thick girls, that they praise ass, they praise thighs, they praise all of that, like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's like it's not it's it's hard to just be like, oh yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of walk around my flat. Some of y'all happy with it, that's great, but that just wasn't me when I was young. So things started to change when Cardi began dancing at Exotic Club. One thing about her is that she always keeps it real and has never hidden her past as a dancer. She talks about it a lot and is grateful that it helped put food on the table. However, when she first started dancing, she wasn't an instant hit with the club patrons because she didn't have the typical stripper body because she was super skinny. This did nothing for her already bruised self-esteem. After some time, she managed to save enough money for her first surgery, a chest job. At 18, she got the procedure and for a while it made her feel happy and more confident about her body. But if you know anything about plastic surgery, you'll know it's hard to stop at just one procedure because it can become addictive. Plus, it often requires touch-ups and maintenance. Combine these factors with Cardi's initial insecurity about her body and you can see how it led to her getting more and more work done. Even though things improved a little for Cardi after she got her first surgery, she was still making way less money than the curvier strippers because she still had a flat behind. To make matters worse, her boyfriend at the time cheated on her and Cardi was convinced it was because the other girl had a big butt. She decided to get her butt done, but as a 20-year-old living in New York, she couldn't afford a licensed plastic surgeon. Plus, since she was super skinny, she didn't have enough fat for a transfer. So she turned to a woman named Donna Francis and paid $800 for silicone shots in her butt and thighs. If you haven't heard of Donna Francis, she was arrested and imprisoned for her illegal silicone business. One of her patients passed away during a procedure, leading to a serious legal battle and eventually landing Donna in jail. Thankfully, Cardi was lucky enough to survive the procedure without any major side effects, but that doesn't mean that she got off easy because she spoke to GQ magazine about the crazy after effects that she had. She said, they don't numb your butt with anything. It was the craziest pain ever. I felt like I was gonna pass out. I felt a little dizzy and it leaks for like five days. After this, Cardi eased off of surgeries for a bit because she finally had the body she wanted, at least for a couple of years. In 2019, after giving birth to her daughter, Culture, she decided to get a mummy makeover to lose the pregnancy weight. However, Cardi's busy schedule as one of the biggest female rappers didn't allow her the necessary time to recover. She kept performing until her doctors forced her to take a break. She even posted pictures of her swollen feet from the liposuction, which looked pretty bad. This experience seemed to scare her, leading her to vow to stay away from surgery, saying, I've been working out for the past two weeks because I ain't getting surgery again. Cardi kept her word, and when she wanted to get a nose job, she opted for a non-invasive nose job using fillers instead of surgery. 
However, when the fillers made her nose look odd, she ended up getting a rhinoplasty to fix it, but she didn't stop there. After having her son wave in 2021, she revealed she wanted a tummy tuck to get rid of the extra loose skin around her belly. But it wasn't the tummy tuck that soon got people talking, it was her noticeably bigger butt. In a video she posted last year, people saw that her butt looked significantly larger. People started talking about how she must have gotten more shots or something similar because her tiny waist and big back look kind of weird and unhealthy. Hardy went live on Instagram to deny these claims, but admitted that she knows her butt looks weird. It's also obvious that she regrets her surgery because she warned young women not to make the same mistake that she made when she was younger. And um, all I'm gonna say is, right, that if you're young, if you're 19, if you're 20, if you're 21, and sometimes you're too skinny, and you be like, oh my God, I don't got enough fat to pull on my ass and everything, so you resort to don't do it. Like, I am super, 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 super against my I'm super against biopolymeters. That hasn't stopped people from talking about her, and they had a lot to say after her recent performance in Vegas. Fans had a lot to say about how different she looked, how it was giving diaper butt, and a whole lot of other things. It started a whole conversation, and Cardi eventually addressed it in a live session where she appeared to mock the haters. I'm getting body shamed. <laughs> I'm so sad. Everybody's saying that I look fat. <laughs> like my so fat. <laughs> Everybody hates me. <laughs> However, according to an insider, Cardi is actually low-key bothered by all the comments about her body. She has never really been confident about her body, and even with all the surgeries, she still deals with some insecurities sometimes. The insider added that Cardi knows that her body isn't in its best shape, but the last thing she wants to do is show her insecurities because it would get her dragged even more. Fans chimed in saying, Cardi, you should be mad at your plastic surgeon and not us. We didn't make you look like you just came out of Bugs Life movie. I know the comments are getting to her. The easiest solution is to get in the gym. You can't get the surgery done and not work out to maintain it. The unhealthy habits will always catch up to you and reveal who you are innately. And I want people to leave her alone. A lot of you are busted, bummed, the F out, broke. This isn't even half of what y'all are. Let that girl be. Anyway, do let me know your thoughts on what he had to say in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also, we have a membership for some of y'all who would like to support the channel, so check out the link in the description to join. Catch you in the next one.